Hello everyone, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Are you looking for a channel where you can find solution to some beautiful math problems? Um, so here you are on uh, this channel, Math uh, Experience. You will always see some beautiful concepts of mathematics well thought out, you know, with uh, simple approaches. And um, I will um, employ you to do well to subscribe to my YouTube channel and always come around to see what we have here. So this problem says that we should find the value of uh, 3 raised to the power of m or raised to the power of n if this particular equation here holds. That means, so they are saying that, let's take it that um, what we have here, that m sorry, that m plus n all squared is equal to m squared plus n squared, so that we should find. This is a very simple problem, which, of course, anybody should be able to do, even without any issue at all. So what are you expected to do here? It's obvious that from here now, this is actually not the complete expansion of this if you go to expansion of brackets or binomial theorems and all of that because we know that m plus n all squared is actually the same thing as m. so what does that mean if you expand this you are supposed to get m squared plus 2mn let me take it gradually so your m will multiply m to give you m squared m into n will give you mn and then this m now into this m will give you also mn and then n into n will be n squared okay so you see what is going to happen here this is going to be the same as a m squared plus 2mn and then plus n squared so, but these people now decided to keep this silent. And what does that imply? Okay, so the implication is that for this to be equal to this, so it only means that this other guy here, that's this person, is going to be equal to zero. If that doesn't happen, then it's not possible that this will be equal to this. It's not possible. So the meaning is that they are asking us to keep 2mn as equal to zero. Now, the beautiful thing of solving this kind of problems, especially in Olympiad maths, is that it actually allows you the opportunity to think deep and then, you know, see the possible, you know, the possibilities that are available in any problem you're given. And so, <clears throat> if my 2m plus, uh, uh, sorry, 2mn is zero, so what it simply means is that mn alone is equal to zero. And then, of course, because mn is zero, why is it so? Because if I divide both sides by two, I will get zero. So I would then try to simplify what I have here. And how am I going to get that? Now, of course, 3 raised to the power m or raised to the power of n is the same thing as 3 raised to the power of mn because we are told by indices that a raised to the power of x or raised to the power of y by the law of power, uh, power of power is going to be raised to the power of x, y. Your x will multiply your y. And so simply put that your mn is zero and so the total value required is actually equal to one. And that's the solution to this problem, which is what I said to show you in this video. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do give a, give a thumbs up to this video and share it with your friends. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.